Hey everyone, Jason here. So I'm out at the base camp. I'm gonna start setting up a more permanent shelter today. I brought Pip along, so today should be a good day. So the first thing I need to do is I need to find a ridge pole that's going to be long enough to go between the two trees that I tied up the temporary shelter to. So looking at it, it's probably 12 to 15 feet long. Ideally, I'll find a standing dead tree and we've got lots of ironwood in the area. Ironwood in here tends not to last that long, so a lot of the the sticks that you see lying down, the, the trees that are falling, a lot of that is actually ironwood. So now the benefit of ironwood also is that it, in Canada it's the densest hardwood in the country. So if I can find a nice straight piece that is thick enough, then I'm laughing. So I'm going to start looking around. I'll look for some standing dead wood first, um, but I'll keep my eye out for something that's down that may have just fallen. Okay, so I found this uh, ironwood tree here. It's down, but it's up off the ground as you can see. The branches are holding it up and it actually crossed into a, a V of trees over here. So I like that because it's already down so I don't have to cut anything, which is safer and just a lot easier. Um, but it's also up off the ground. So if it was laying flat on the ground, it could have rot starting, but having uh, been elevated, it'll decay a lot slower so so this should be a good piece of wood i'll check it out more and uh, cut it into size and then we can get started with the ridge pole All right, so to do the lashing for the ridge pole, I'm gonna start it off with a constrictor knot. Now, I know a lot of people start their square lashing off with just a clove knot or clove hitch, but uh, I much prefer the constrictor. The constrictor is 
you know, it's almost uh, identical to the clove hitch, except it's less likely to slip. In fact, it won't slip. Okay, well, I've gathered up what I think is enough wood to finish off the roof of the shelter as well as do a platform for, you know, sleeping and sitting area. Um, I'm going to get started on that. To start off, I'm just going to do a couple notches on the top ridge pole, nothing too deep because obviously I don't want to interfere with the integrity of that pole, but just marker, marks, marker, marks. Um, just so I know where the roof should begin and where it should end. And that's just based on the length of my tarp. I don't want to, you know, make the, the roof poles too long and then my tarp not fit. So just to give you an idea of the shelter I'm going to do is I'm just going to have, I'm going to build the roof out. It's going to be on a 45 degree angle pitch and I'm going to put tarp over. There's going to be a platform underneath, but then the roof is going to overhang the platform on both sides, as well as it'll have a bit of an awning at the front, at this side, towards the fire pit. Okay, so I'm gonna get going.
Okay, well, I got the roof up and the tarp in place, so that's good. Unfortunately, I ran out of paracord, so I didn't get the platform done. I'll pick up more of that and come back out. I'll probably do the walls on the camp next. Uh, the weather's supposed to turn bad, so we're supposed to get a lot of rain over the next couple of days, and then the temperature's going to drop down below zero. So they're saying that this is going to be a bad year for snow, so I want to get the shelter as as built as soon as possible. Um, because of the weather and the way it's going to be changing, I gathered up a bunch of firewood and stored it underneath the shelter. So even if it gets cold out, I should have some dry wood that I can start up a fire and keep warm around camp as I work. So yeah, I want to thank you for watching and hopefully you're enjoying it so far. If you are, uh, feel free, please comment let me know what you think um, if you like it give it the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you have any questions or you want to see me do anything out here then uh, yeah leave it in the comments and I'll definitely consider it um, yeah it's a uh, it's quite a challenge to do this uh, finding running the camera and doing the build it's taking a lot longer than I thought I'm uh, also fighting off a bit of a flu at the moment so that's been kind of challenging but uh yeah no it's all good so yeah anyhow i guess that's it for this week thanks for watching